This is supposed to be a quick update on my latest improvements for the PCB-based optical absolute position encoder. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my four additional encoder channels, updated software and the RC servo for visualization. All of this is intended to work together with the PCB-based motor in a few days, so let's see what the updated capabilities are. First, let's go through the assembly. I added four more channels to allow for greater resolution of the final server actuator. First, I solder operational amplifiers for signal processing together with the basic passive components. Afterwards, the signal output is measured and the thresholds for the comparator are selected accordingly. Then we can assemble the correct resistors resulting in the feedback voltage thresholds. Let's test if the final signal output looks nice now. That's something the software will be able to work with. So let's take a look at that. But first we have to switch to a device which is capable of capturing more interrupts. The Arduino Micro only has 4 pins which can be read in interrupt mode. Therefore I'll be using this STM32 development board. Here we have two open tasks to do. On the one hand, the software has to be extended to work with 8-bit. On the other hand side, I have to somehow find a way to visualize the 8-bit output of our encoder. And I think I found a perfect solution for the second task. This RC servo is capable of rotating to a precise location based on the input signal. So let's hook it up with the newly developed software to check if the encoder does what we expect it to do. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you feel like you missed out on something, go watch through the encoder series on my channel leading up to this point. I'll now spend some time testing this for reliability and integrating it with the PCB motor. Awesome, so if you enjoyed this, there's more to come.